Good morning, guys. Here, over a couple. Hope you guys are having a great morning today. Or afternoon, or night. I don't know. The first is ten in time, you know. It's a really sunny day. Blue sky, you know what I'm And they did some some changes to the to the tank they had for the tap holes. You know when they had a turtle before, remember? Hope you guys are that. Oh yeah. I did some changes. Pretty good changes. I added a well, you're gonna see it right now. You're gonna see it right now. It's pretty good change, guys. You guys are gonna love it. It's fucking dripping, you know what I'm saying? And, all right, see you there. All right, we're here, guys. Damn, bro, it's a flash. Here you go, guys. We have some water plants. This one is hanging from the, so you see that little, little string? Because it's broken right here. It's like, snapped. It snapped right here and right here. And also like, Right here, yeah, right here. So I put it right there. I got a little like tapper I had right there from some nuts. I was being there there. And I saved it for this plant. It has a new one right here growing. Before it was like around here, so it grew a lot from yesterday. How the fuck does it grow that much? I don't know. But it grows. I have the tadpoles right here. You see the one, two, there. it's a big one. It's actually growing the eyes. It's actually growing pretty big eyes. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, you got see the eyes. This is growing pretty big, guys. All right. So this is a plant that filters the water. It's a really good plant, right? It filters the water, and I don't know if it does something else. I just know it filters the water. It's a pretty productive thing to add to this because because it does a lot of good job for the for the ecosystem. It also helps provide some habitat for the tadpoles. You can see right here. I think that's a tadpole. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's a tadpole right there, right there. We got a tadpole right there. There you go. Right there. You can see right there. Right there, is it? Yeah, right there. And he's hanging out right there. Safe. He feels safe under the roots and dead things and leaves the thing has on the bottom. I prefer the thing just here because the sunlight gives it hits the, the sun hits right here on this part from here. To that side, to the front, right? The sunlight hits, and a certain time of day, I don't know how many hours exactly, but it hits it for like a long while. So it's a pretty productive thing to do. I'm probably gonna head out over there. There's a river right there, and there's some invasive turtle species hanging all right there, like yellow bellies. They're hanging out in the river right there, and they're invasive. I'm trying to catch them and put them in the pond or something. Because they're invasive, they shouldn't be out here in the wild in in Spain. Because the only the only species of turtle that are actually allowed and like are not invasive are native here in the in Spain are the the Galapago europeo, the European Galapago. Uh, I'm saying thing again in English. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Galapago europeo. All right. And then we have the Galapago Leproso, as I talked yesterday in the last vlog. Because I want you to, I want to encourage you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Because, you know, we've got to grow, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, once, once we reach 100 subscribers, bro, I'm sure my face, bro. And we're going to do, like, some chilling video, you know. we got some lemons out here. As you can see. The lemon tree. Pretty good. What do you do about lemons? Pretty good shit. Pretty nice. And then we got some apple tree and more shit over there. And we're having an experiment right here. We're experiment, experimenting with a with an onion that came with a leaf. All right. We have it right here. All right. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. That one. Yeah, that one. That's a an onion. And then we got the stuff that I don't know why. We'll have it there. Just have it. All right, guys. So pretty much that for now. I'm gonna go head out. You see here? I don't know. I think it's mango. I don't know, I don't know papaya or something. No, hit me out in the comments. I have no idea. And we'll we'll head out to the to a little river and try to catch some turtles, some invasive turtles. That's something to do during this quarantine because like, bro, I have nothing else to do and it's pretty boring out here. I don't really don't do that. During special occasions where I just like see one and I say, like, bro, I'm gonna jump in, you know. I'm, I'm just full set, you know. So I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna head in the fucking river and catch some turtles if I can. 
and my fucking brother, bro. He's annoying as fuck. All right, so I'll see you there. Guys, I gotta tell you guys something really interesting fact about my dog. He's what I call the tanning dog. Cause like, he will literally stay in the hot ass rock right here in the, in the ground below the, over there with the sun hits belt better. And he lays down and takes the sun. He's like a fucking incredible. He's like, I don't know what. If this is just my dog or it's like normal another dog, but he likes to like get tan. I don't know what. It's something weird. It's just something cool I wanted to say. And well, I'm just gonna go head out to walk my dog. Awesome. Alright guys, too. so let's head out. I forgot the, to close the door. Alright. So first of all, I use this harness because it's much better with this dog because he pulls a lot. And with the harness, it's... It doesn't like pull that much because of the because it you just could like lift them like this. I'll show you right now. There you go. So, right, he pulls and you just do and lift him up without choking him or anything. Because when you have the when you do it from here, look at this. You choke him completely. You know that's why I prefer to like buy this thing and just chill out with this. Okay, so I'm show, I'm gonna show you guys where this crazy ass turtle are. It's you over there. The rare red eared turtles. They got a fun turtle around here so they can catch it. It's a really complicated task because they're really scared of humans. No one, but they're really scared. So they gotta do a really good job to like, catch them and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys another place you could go into the river. Should I probably stuff on the snake? Oh shit. Here. So this way you could go down here through here into the river. But there's not much stuff to it. I think I heard something going on here, I don't know. Probably a snake. Who cares? No. Let's keep on going and I'm sure for the bad recording. It's just like really interesting what this is. It's like a like a leaf insect. It's such a weird thing. Holy crap! Well, I gotta I gotta figure it out. I figure out what this insect is. I'll probably put it in the video when I figure it out. What's the idea? It's some weird thing. Weird insect. Because I'm going to show you guys this other place you go through. It's like really interesting, you know, it's like pretty cool. Think of this little entrance you got here. We're going to go away quiet. We might maybe, maybe be able to see some turtles. I don't know if you guys hear the little bell going do do do. You see something with just one in the water. I don't know if it was a fish or a turtle. But the thing going do 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 is the goats from like there's like a little island in the river. I'll show you guys a river right now. A lot of goats. I don't know why, but like it's full of goats there. You see other there? Turtle right there. You see that thing just like moving right. Let me show you right there. It's a huge turtle. Right there. See? Right there that's, I'm pretty sure there's a native turtle. I mean, the, yeah, that's like a... That's not, not an invasive. Or an invasive species. Pretty sure. Alright, it's pretty interesting knowing that there's like a lot of turtles around here you know, roaming, you know? I'm gonna see if you guys could hear the, the goats talking, or like the sheep. You hear them pretty well. I don't know if you guys hear them, but there's, there's a lot of goats there. I don't know why, like during the summer, there's a little amount of goats. I think there's like about, I don't know, like 
from six to nine goats in there with one male. And then like in the winter, they, there's like a lot more of the kennels and there's more and goats and sheep and stuff. It'll be pretty interesting. Someday we'll go in there and make a video. It's gonna be cool. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much here walking on my dog. He's right there. All right, and I'm probably gonna go back to my house in like 20 minutes or so because you know, they catch you here with all the coronavirus stuff going on and it's gonna be pretty pretty darn bad you know and here sometimes the, the goats hang out here when the low when the low tide is up and stuff so we we'll might get to see one later and I'll record if something interesting comes up I'll just record it right but for now I'll see you in in my house one last thing, there's no cap looks like a Nile River Lake, it's so fucking cool dude. Look at this, look at this, just look at this bro. Looks like some crocodile is just gonna pop out of this water and eat you. Bro, it's so incredible dude, when I was back in Miami, if I saw this bro, I would never go near this. Just, bro, the beach rest. Holy shit, look at this, holy, holy shit. Bro, what is this dog? Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. You guys see this? I'm trying to catch it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, guys. It's a really weird insect. Look at this. Probably gonna check out what this is. Cause like, it's really weird. Alright, guys. Now, for real, I'll see you guys at home. Look, there's another one here. It's really like a mating spot. Look at this. It's full of them. Holy shit. Bro, I'll put like, the name of this insect for later. You'll probably eat this. This stuff is pretty interesting. Look, more over there. Oh, it's full of them. I'm just gonna leave this guy over here and chill. Guys, I just had to show you guys this. I went through like this little, this little place. I got this thing in case I found like a snake or any insect, or, like any animal I could like turn them to like hit it away with this stick for to keep the distance. And look at this, so beautiful. Like it's, it's complete nature. For real, you could find. Ooh, anything here. You can find like porcupines and stuff. I think that's the name of the porcupine. Narita. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. And the uh, last year, last, well, last summer, yeah, I left the porcupine. I found the porcupine in the middle of the road. So I got it and left it in this polo field that is abandoned. So it's like a lot of land for like whoever wants to live in there. It's pretty cool. So I left it in there and probably the, hopefully, like maybe I'll find the. I'll find them again, you know. Just like say handsome like something dog, you know. Some, some stuff like that. And look at this. It's beautiful. It's completely beautiful. It's so fucking beautiful, dude. And look at this, that's the old thing. The where the score of the polo match was. And yeah, pretty cool. I think I'm gonna get going because I just found this like abandoned house with the door completely broken and a bunch of trash here. I'm gonna leave because I like, broke. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna come out of there, like, probably sort of like a guy that wants to kill me or something, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna like leave. I don't know. Weird ass stuff here. Weird ass stuff. Some butterflies and shit. Only did five days. That's cool. <laughs> Pretty sick ass stuff. And well, I think I'm gonna get going and now for sure I'll see you in my house. Alright guys, so we got to my house now. We saw a lot of stuff today. It was fucking lit, you know. It was good stuff to see, you know, when we were in quarantine and you have anything else to do. Seeing all those animals and all the nature flowing, you know what I'm saying? And, well, I wanna... Just say this, I'm gonna end the video with this plants that I put yesterday in. I got from the river, but there was like 10 of these. I got one of those, like one of these, like roots that are together, and that's it. Just like filter the pond and stuff, because this what this plants are really good for that. Well, guys, I, th I wish you guys liked this video. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the video and put all the information about all the animals and stuff. And hope you guys like the video, subscribe, like, and 
Bye, my guys.